Suzuki Press Conference uh, at the Chicago Auto Show. I am Jeff Holland, uh, and hopefully you're having a, a chance here to get some of our snow cones uh, that uh, loosely ties into our uh, advertising campaign that was just shown on the Super Bowl a few days ago. So if you're wondering and curious on as to what we're doing down there, that's what we're doing. So uh, also, if you want to come up a little bit closer, I can barely see everybody out there. The snowman's not live, so he won't hit you with any snowballs. Um, wanted to first welcome you to Chicago and then also thank and, uh, and wish Paul Bryan a belated, uh, a belated birthday. Uh, it was uh, Paul that helped us uh, set the stage up and get us up here uh, uh, preempting Casey and the Sunshine Band who will be playing on this stage uh, in a couple nights here at a charity program that they have. Um, I also wanted to pass along the fact that uh, because we created this presentation in Japan uh, and the cost of doing business there uh, has gotten a little expensive versus the dollar we shaved off about 20 percent and so that uh, took away some of the chairs that we have and some of the set that we have up here on stage so um, I'm Jeff Holland I wanted to quickly go through uh, a year in review uh, from 2010 we had an interesting uh, 2008 and 2009 uh, and I think at the tail end of 2010 we started to rebound a little bit we've had four months of year-over-year -year sales growth so we're extremely excited about that and continuing the momentum uh, that will build into 2011. We hope for that to continue, obviously. Um, a couple of the, a couple of the uh, events that we did, a couple of the, the highlights from 2010, we uh, drove uh, what you can see here, a Kazashi, a V-Strom motorcycle, an equator truck, uh, all the way from Tokyo, actually Hamamatsu, where we uh, produced the cars and drove it all the way across Japan crossed uh, over into Russia, drove up some of the most uh, uh, rough terrain that you can find in uh, the northern parts of Siberia, uh, then across the Bering Strait into Alaska, down the Alcan Highway, uh, back to our headquarters uh, in uh, Brea and in the Los Angeles area. So Motor Trend and Afangus is here and some of the Motor Trend staffers, we'd like to thank them for uh, accompanying us and, and driving our cars uh, for 8,500 miles uh, almost across the world. Um, Happy to report that also, save for I think seven or eight uh, uh, blown tires, we, uh, the cars made it uh, here and we actually continued the journey with a few other journalists driving it to the uh, uh, major international auto shows here. So we drove it from Los Angeles to Detroit a few weeks ago and from Detroit made it here. So we're going to continue the journey and if anyone has any interest and in, uh, ideas to keep this going, the car is here, it's available. Uh, call up STI and I think Matt's here to take your orders for the cars. Uh, so have fun with it. Um, the other thing, we set a, a Bonneville World Speed Record, and you'll see that uh, uh, over in our booth, which is not here, it's over across the way. Some of you were there earlier, but we've got the Bonneville Speed Record car. There went 203 miles an hour, and Sam and Tani with Road & Track piloted that for us. So I'd like to thank uh, uh, Sam as well for helping us out and getting that record. Uh, as far as what we've been doing in last year on this, not on this stage, but on a stage that was right over here last year, we announced our social media initiatives. And everybody's getting into social media nowadays. Uh, we launched an iPad game, a, a, an iPhone uh, application, uh, and then we also started our, our Facebook page, our YouTube page, uh, and our Twitter feed. So, uh, and a lot of you have helped us kind of engage and interact. And I just wanted to go through some quick statistics on where we're at 12 months later after starting that initiative. So, 2,000 plus followers on Twitter. We've gotten over half a million downloads from some of our TV advertising and some of our viral videos that 
we produce, and good folks at Silton and Partners, our ad agency, helped us produce and run through those. And then uh, the Facebook page, which uh, garnered uh, about 60,000 people uh, right now. And these are people that we wouldn't have necessarily uh, reached out to uh, from just traditional advertising. So we were happy that our president, Kevin Saito, is here, and uh, Executive Vice President Koichi Suzuki, who are in the audience, uh, let us kind of embark on these initiatives. So thank you. Um, a couple statistics on our All Points Facebook game. Since June, we had 150,000 online game plays. That ranks in the top 20 of online racing games. So we're excited that a smaller line manufacturer with not a whole lot of advertising money to put behind it was able to garner this many extra sets of eyeballs and learn a little bit more uh, about our brand through some of the new technologies that uh, we've been able to, uh, to enlist. Um, since December, and we'll talk about this a little bit more too, our All Points game, which is a game uh, where people can win points by posting videos, taking pictures, interacting with our Facebook page and our Twitter feed. Um, and uh, to date, we've got over 42,000 downloads. And so we're, again, uh, excited about the prospects of continuing these types of activities uh, into 2011 and even expanding on that. So um, we've had 128,000 total unique page views, 4,000 plus registrants in the game, and the grand prize was uh, Suzuki Kazashi. So um, our actual, the winner of that game is here with us from Texas. Uh, his name is Mark Rausch, and no, we're not doing a Rausch version uh, Kazashi yet. We'd like to, but uh, that's up to, to Kevin and Koichi and Steve Yunin over there. But I'd like to bring Mark out and give him the keys and take a couple pictures here. Congratulations, Mark. Thanks. The keys to your new car. You. Really appreciate your play. You. Yeah, no worries. We'll bring Mark out a little bit later, but I just wanted to give him his time in the sun here and uh, brought him and his wife up, and is she in the audience here? Oh, right down here. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, thanks, congratulations, and I appreciate your uh, helping us out. Good job, Mark. Mark Roush. Huh? Uh, all Points 2.0, we started with All Points uh, 1.0, uh, obviously, and uh, the next variant of that will be coming out, and you'll see uh, evidence of that soon. We need to expand that through some of the, the, uh, the interactions that we've had, people asking us to put it on the Android operating system beyond just the, uh, the Apple uh, iPhones and iPads, and then also a Wii game that's coming out. So more announcements uh, on that very shortly. Um, and a thing that is uh, very uh, near and dear to our our sales group is the announcement uh, that we'll be awarding uh, a number of these iPads for our uh, sales associates in our dealerships across the country. Um, we're the first uh, non-luxury OEM to do this out in the field, and right now we're working on uh, some of the applications and how, uh, get it to work here. So just to kind of show you, this is a, a beta version of what we've got here, and there's a picture on the screen, but we'll be distributing those uh, shortly here. Is it this week, Steve? This month. This month. Uh, beginning with the top 20 regional markets uh, to the top salespeople in each region, and then we'll be expanding uh, the program throughout. So we think this is going to be a valuable sales aid for the sales associates at the dealership level who may not be that well versed in our products and may not know everything about it, but they don't have to. Um, they can pull up comparison statistics, crash testing uh, info. Uh, track comparison data, much, much more, uh, and be able to talk kind of intelligently through it and show this to the customers, and uh, hopefully that helps us close a few more sales uh, this year. Uh, one uh, last thing before we get to it, I think some of you saw uh, the news this morning that if, uh, for those of you joining us at the Geneva Auto Show, uh, our uh, parent company in Japan announced that we'll be showing a concept version of the Swift uh, at the Geneva Show in the early part of March. So. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have any swift news beyond that. I know a, a few of you have talked to me about this over the last couple of years, and I know there's uh, anticipation, but uh, it should be a cool concept car at least. And uh, for those of you going to Geneva, you'll get to see the real thing. They uh, released this uh, this morning along with the, uh, the sketch of the car. Uh, so without further ado, I didn't want to take up too much of your time here today. And we thought uh, with, uh, in the lack of having real hard news to talk about, that we thought we might just entertain you guys. So we've got a local troupe here uh, in Chicago, and this is one of them, coming out uh, to uh, have some entertainment. But after that, enjoy yourselves uh, with some of the snow cones, and then I'll turn it over to the Suzuki players. Thank you. What's up, man? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. I'm going to need those. Bye. 
by the snow and the wicked weather. Things got slippery and icy on the roads. Everybody's whining got louder. Except for the people with Suzuki's. Get on motorcycles. Tread up powder. All around the country, our cars are giving people a lift. The Grand Vitara is us, she's a crossover. And if you ask nice, maybe the Swift. With all the challenges we put our cars through, our sterling reputation's been sealed. The only thing that a Suzuki can't do is keep Jay Cutler on the field. Why can't the fans of Vincent line for my shield? Audi, beat it! Mercedes, beat it! Acura, GSX, and now we beat it. We battled all the toughest roads. We shine on every stage. We made our customers the happiest and still had time to build a Facebook page. They're kicking in that all-wheel drive. Our brand is huge all across the globe. We're number one in India. And we can't find a rhyme, so we'll say it again. We're number one in India. <laughs> Welcome here to Chicago and at the risk of sounding crass. here in Chicago at the I.O. Theater up on the north side by Wrigley Field. Al along with us singing and dancing, we also improvise, which means we make stuff up right on the spot. And we thought we'd do that for you guys right now. Uh, and we'd like to interview somebody uh, to get some suggestions for us to improvise. And we thought there would be nobody better out there than uh, Mark. Mark Rausch, our, our car winner, the All Points winner. There he is. Give him a hand again. Downstage center with me. This is probably not something you're used to doing. No, that's fine. Well, here, take this microphone. Just hold it up close to your mouth. All you have to do is uh, just answer any question I ask you honestly, and we'll take care of the rest. Make sense? Good, good, good. So you just want a, a car. You have a new car as of today. That's right. Can you tell me a little bit about how you went about, uh, how you won the car? Uh, I entered a contest online. You entered a contest online, and you won. Right. Fantastic. Great. What do you do for a living, Mark? I'm an architect. You're an architect, uh -huh. and you are from where? Hearst, Texas. Hearst, Texas. Now, I know everywhere in Texas, but tell me, uh, generally, where is Hearst, Texas? DFW area. Oh, yeah, DFW, Dallas, that whole that whole metroplex. Great, cool, cool, cool. You're from Hearst, and you're an architect there. How long have you lived down there? About 20 years. About 20 years. And who? And with whom do you live in Hearst, Texas? My wife, Maureen, and our four kids. You have four kids, and your wife, Maureen. Great. Tell me a little bit about Maureen. What does she do? She's an antique dealer. An antique dealer. Oh, that's a cool occupation. That's fantastic. Great. And your kids, tell me real quick names and basic age range. Ian is 11, Emily is 15, Marcus is 22, and Carter's 27. Ian, Emily, Marcus, Carter. Carter. Yes, I got it. Awesome. Those are for kids. Oh, great, great, great. Anything, anything interesting in their lives these days? What are they up to? Uh, Ian plays baseball. That's just starting up again. Baseball? Uh, Emily dances. Great! Uh, the other two are just working. They're working? What do they, what, what, they have their jobs? One of them works at UPS and Pizza Hut. UPS, Pizza Hut, dancing, baseball. <laughs> oh, that's Red one of lobster. them. Red Lobster. Red Lobster. One of them works at UPS and right. Pizza Hut. Fantastic. So you, you can... Okay, great. Perfect. You got dinners all the time. Great. Pizza Hut, Red Lobster, UPS. Uh, now, you're, this is this is the car you've won, basically, right? Yes, you won the Kazashi. Uh -huh. Yeah, beautiful car. Great. Uh, but yours is probably somewhere en en route to Texas, I assume. Uh, are you, do you drive a lot? Yes. You live in Dallas. You probably have to drive everywhere. Can you tell me anything, any, like, 
road trips you've gone on in your life, anywhere you've traveled by car that's, that's a good distance? Sure. Uh, Disney World or, or Chicago and Michigan. You've driven to all those places from Texas. From, and and uh, great, great, are you originally from Texas? No. I'm no? from Michigan and Indiana. You're from Michigan. Where in Michigan are you from? I know this is what they do in Michigan. <laughs> yeah, right, right down here. Right down here, right down <laughs> the bottom of the thumb. Fantastic. Yeah. Great, near South Bend. Okay, great, great, great. And uh, live in Texas, you've driven to Disney World, you've driven all over the place. What are your plans for your car? What's most exciting to you about having a brand new car? Um, no car payments. <laughs> yes, I, I, <laughs> that's the dream, right? I love it too. No car payments, you said. Great, great, great. Anything coming up in the near future that you're excited about? I mean, this seems like a big moment of 2011. What else does 2011 hold for you, Mark? Um, I don't have any plans, really. Uh, nothing. Uh, no big plans. Forward to, right? No big plans. Any vacations coming up? Anything maybe. like that? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Any maybe other questions fine. from the rest of the, the players here? Yeah, Lizzie. I was just going to ask for two words to describe Maureen. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can just give us two words to describe Maureen. Uh, and, and just so you know, she is here. Yes. Uh, if that alters your words. No. <laughs> uh, hard work and uh, beautiful. Hard work oh, and beautiful. Okay. Oh, Maureen. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Uh, yes. Any hobbies? What do you like to do in your spare time? Yeah, that's a great question. Golf. You like to golf? Yeah. Uh, you good? No. And neither am <laughs> I. Great. Uh, any other hobbies? Anything else you'd you like to participate in? Um, no, that's, that's not fine. It. Yeah. What's a perfect day for, for Mark? I love going and watch my son play baseball. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. And. Uh, with your job, is there anything about your job that's ever kind of stressful or that gets on your nerves? Sure. Yeah? <laughs> like what? Like uh, lack of work, lack of clients. Oh, lack of work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, great, great, great. I have great, a great. question. Yes. Is uh, there any uh, architectural project you're really proud of or something that you're working on right now? Um, uh, I'm proud of a lot of my work. Yeah. Uh, nothing that that you'd know, probably. Uh, I'm sure. What kind of stuff do you usually commercial, have your hands commercial on? Commercial architecture. Commercial architecture, great. And you probably, does your, you, you design stuff that's all over the country, or? Uh, mostly in the Dallas mostly area. Mostly in the Dallas area. Fantastic. Any more questions for Mark? Yeah, Blaine? Did you study to be an architect in college, or what was yes. your, what was I went to Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Oh, Oklahoma. Okay. Great. Thanks. Anything else? Fantastic, Mark. That's all you had to do. That was easy enough. I'll take the microphone. You can head right back out there. Thank you, Mark. Good job. Now, based on the uh, theories of certain psychologists and, and other people, uh, it's believed that the events of your day and the events of your life have a heavy influence on your dreams at night. And so based on what we know of Mark, we would now like to present for you what may or may not be Mark's dream tonight. I do something, baby. I, I, you know, I, you know, work is scarce sometimes. The worst thing about my job is that sometimes there is no job to do. Oh, well, I mean, I can't possibly take our son to all of his baseball games and this anymore. It literally keeps breaking down every second. Hey, look, I'll, I'll do what I can. The answer might not be out there, but in the internet, perhaps. Okay. Thank you. Mark, build yourself a future mark you've got to build yourself a dream mark build yourself something to come home to mark build it up more than it seems mark i am kizashi Okay, I, I, I am gonna freak out. Don't have a meltdown. I am hey, freaking out. Emily, I'm sorry. Come I've been tweeting all day, and all I do is follow my Twitter feed, my Facebook feed, my YouTubes. I keep looking at everything, and I keep reading about contests, and if you don't win that car, 
for me when I get my tip slices, Dad. I'm gonna lose. Dad, here's your pizza. I need you to sign for it. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Now I guess I'll walk back to Pizza Hut UPS combo store. <laughs> yeah. Mark, daughter, I'm the computer. Look, look closer. There's an all points game. Ah, uh, dog. Clicking on things at random on the computer has always brought me luck. Yeah, Dad. If you win that car, our family will never be unhappy ever again. We'll be the perfect family forever. Start what? clicking, start tweeting, start doing. planted some turnips on Farmville. Oh, gosh! Thank you! I needed that! I earned a lot of points for that. I don't. Now I get to go to the big city. Yeah? Instead of a city that's just between two other cities, but it's pretty much sprawled out. <laughs> oh. Mark, you get to come all the way to Chicago, a city that's five degrees colder than Dallas right now. Come. Come and find me. I'm at the auto show. Mark, we want a new car? But I'm only familiar with antiques. What does this mean? That's right, baby. I didn't get you an Edsel or a Tucker or a Studebaker. <laughs> None of those horseless carriages will do for my baby. You're too hardworking and beautiful for that. But you don't understand. I'm going to give you this brand new Model T Ford. <laughs> no thanks, buddy. Well, that's an antique. And Quite impressive. Yeah, I tried, everyone. I tried. But we know it doesn't get good gas mileage. And the Kasashi does. Take a seat. Really? You think I'm gonna like it? It's new. And beautiful. And hardworking. What's even righter? Hey, get back in here. I'm right here. There you are. Who's this guy? I don't know. I've never seen him before. My what? name? Hey, that's oh! the guy with the car. That's right. Whoa. This is the guy with the Kazashi. Lock him up, boys. You're not going anywhere. See? You can't lock me up. I got a family of six, including myself. Yeah. The four of us are never letting you out. One, two, three, and four. Come on, honey. I feel like your father's in trouble, and I know there's a giant blizzard outside, but I think this car can make it. Okay, Mom, gosh, you could've let me drive. I have my temps. You want to? I bet you'll get there faster. Come on. Yeah. I don't think you understand the resilience of the Roush family. Because when one of us is in trouble, we're all in trouble. Today, They're gonna come for me. The best dad in the world! Me! You think we've got a cold attitude? That snowman's got the coldest attitude of all. Man, that's right. Now you got a family to feed, we've got a family to feed. And we're gonna take that free Kazashi and steal all of its secrets for ourselves. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because we're evil. Well, listen up. 
I'm an architect. Daniel Burnham said make no small plans. Well, my plan Let is breaking your face. What? The door's locked and we're about to sing an evil song. You'll have to go around back. Oh! <laughs> ah, because we're evil. Evil. We're evil. We're evil. We'll rob you blind. We'll steal from you now. Because we're evil. 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 We love sushi and even raw. family together and it can bring you guys together too. It's beautiful. But can it survive in the winter? The winter. The snowman and the snow are fierce. Yeah. So we built a winter obstacle course. We'd like to see you drive it here. I trust you, honey. There's no way this car's gonna make it. suspension on one side. Turn it. Oh, look at it handle. This is amazing. They're driving right over our entire track made of banana peels. They've done it. We beat your obstacle course. Yeah, now how does it feel? We traverse the whole thing. Only 50% of the time touching the wheel. 